Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Hinterland. Thanks for joining me. Happy Wednesday. We are actually working on a new field. I have purchased these two plots right here. Let's see here. We've got plot 15 and plot 16. And as you can see, I have drawn out a temporary course play uh, custom course just so I can get some hired help working on it. And they're basically <clears throat> mowing and tedding because we need hay. We are a bit low on the hay side. So I have a mower going, our cloths, and I've got a tedder following up behind. We'll have to grab a wind row. A wind rower and get wind rowing um, on this but basically the outline of this is going to be our new field I guess that's the idea behind this but we do need hay actually let me hop over here let me check this I think I've got this set kind of high so in our lovely storage facilities, we've got only five bales of hay left. We've got quite a bit of silage still. And we've got grass and we have straw. Now, today at work, believe it or not, I had a bit of a epiphany. I don't know, that's probably a big word for what I had, but I had a thought, and that is why... What are we going to do with all this grass that we have in storage? Because our sheep are fending for themselves uh, with the grazing mod. And our cows are being taken care of with TMR. In fact, I went ahead and got rid of a bunch of grass over there so we can have more room for TMR. We'll need to fill that up here shortly. That all being said... We're really not going to need all that grass, so what can we do with it? Well, I guess we can wrap it and make silage, is kind of what I was thinking. I was also thinking we could purchase a dryer, probably pop the grass in a dryer and let it dry. But I thought, you know what, why not make silage out of it? That might work out really well. So, let's hop over to our vent. I was bringing the cows some TMR that is empty now our trailer's empty it still has some silage additive but there's not much we can do about that unfortunately I cannot empty the silage additive out of it so we're going to lose the silage additive because we are going to sell this thing Heinrich has got a buyer for it remember we bought our new crone forage wagon So we are going to get this forage wagon. Oh, thank goodness. That was really close. You know, I haven't driven off that bridge yet, but there's always going to be a first time. So I decided to go ahead and, excuse me, go ahead and sell this forage wagon. Brad, you need to turn that way with it. There you go, buddy. That's probably close enough. Uh, I think it's over here, isn't it? Yeah. So let's go ahead and repair. Let's repaint. And let's sell it. And this was on the used market. I actually ended up... Hello. Actually, sorry. <laughs> Got a little close to the mic. Um, actually found this on the used market today. And this guy will wrap square bales now you might say well brad we already have a square bale wrapper well yes we do however this little anderson will wrap square bales larger square bales which is what we need we need the 240 wrap we only have up to the 220 and we need 240 so even if we just use this for this occasion and sell it uh it was like 15 grand in the used market it was basically half off uh so yeah, I nabbed it. We do need to pay attention to where I'm driving. We do need to repair it. So 
So let's get it over to our little... Okay. <laughs> I guess it could be done that way. Oh, boy. Yes, stand back, everyone. I am a professional. Boy, this thing is... This thing is not necessarily that much fun to back up. They say the, sh the shorter the trailer, the harder they are to back up. So that's my excuse. So 165 in repairs. Let's go ahead. We'll repaint it. That way she's brand spanking new. Perfect. And let's get it back to the farm. And that fence probably doesn't even feel that thing on the back of it, does it? We'll keep an eye on our laborers over on our new field. We're going to continue to expand our fields, I think, for a bit. Uh, I say that, and you watch next episode. I'll either be buying a new piece of equipment or a, another summer rental. But I really do think focusing on land expansion is probably our best idea at this point. That way we can keep crop rotation kind of going a little bit better. I won't feel so guilty about having um, leaving fields empty. All right, so let's grab, let's see here. Uh, we probably don't want to do it here, do we? Now that I think about it, we probably want to put it someplace because we're going to be making the old silage bale sausage, so to speak. I think that'll work. Yeah. All right. Now, we're going to do this the, um, well, this way. Because, honestly, I'm, I'm not as in the mood to deal with uh, using the telehandler. I know that's totally cheaty, but that's what we're going to try at least. Uh, where's my trigger? Where are you, trigger? There you are. So we are going to work on grass bales. We'll work on the larger of the two. 21 of them. Holy cow. Yeah, we've got quite a bit of grass here, don't we? Okay. Um, is this where we want to put this thing? Because it's going to be lengthy. So as we put the bales in here, it's going to spit them out this way. And then I think this thing reverses that way, right? So maybe this will work okay. If not, we can cut it and move it and try another way. Let's, let's give it a shot. Enough yapping. Let's give it a go. So we're going to grab a bale. I think they go on something like this. Yes, they do indeed. Let's check this bad mamba jamba out here. Hope you're all uh, having a good week so far. I know my week's been going all right. The weather here is not nice in any way, shape, or form. It's cold. It's wet. We're, we might have some snow in the forecast. Yep. Yep, snow. Lovely. How fast can I feed this thing? That's heavy. Is it moving? I guess we don't have that many. It's got to hit the ground first, doesn't it? It should push it to our right. Can I grab? Let's grab a couple. Yeah, we're strong. We can manage. I know typically I'm not a huge fan of manhandling. Oh yeah, perfect. It's pushing it. I'm not typically a big fan of doing it this way, but in all honesty, for time constraint mostly, and I figure this is the way to do it. 
We could, um, here, let's do this. How are, oh, are you done? Oh, well, thank you, Mr. Mower. Mr. Tedder's going to be going for a while. We could get, what tractors do we have? We've got, actually, we don't need you yet, Mr. John Deere. We need, you. We might get away with, I think we're pretty close to the edge of where our land is going to be. Let's check something here real quick. Yeah, I got pretty darn close, so I think that's good enough. Let's get the um Let's get the class back to the farm and uh pick up our wind rower and see if we can't get a a person working on Getting all this hay tedded up. We might want to give our tedder a little bit more of a head start, though, because the wind rower is going to catch up pretty quick, I think. So, as far as focus goes, yeah, I think we're, I think we're going to be focusing on land expansion. I noticed uh, today was it today or yesterday? I forget which one. Uh, Giants released an official gameplay trailer of Farm Sim 23 mobile for mobile devices. It looked pretty good. It looked actually, it looked really good. Um, I was, I, I don't remember. I haven't played the last version. What was it? 20? Um, I haven't played it in quite some time. I don't remember there being that many crops available on 20. And I think they said there's like 14 crops. I know they're adding chickens. Um, there were a couple other things that caught my eye, but I think it's looking pretty good. I am probably going to end up picking it up. Most likely will end up um, picking it up. If for nothing else, just pure curiosity. I forget how much they normally get for it. Is it is it five bucks? Uh, don't lower that, Brad. We want to go to the back. We want to lower. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Just drop. Thank you. And we can set this over here, and then come back around, and we'll pick up our weight. I don't think I was close enough on that one. The game lets you fudge it a little bit, but not fudge it that much, I guess. Where is our rower, our winder, our wind rower? Where are you hiding? I know I didn't sell the wind rower, did I? I don't know, I sell a lot of things on this farm. Did I sell the wind rower? Did I move it just, maybe I just moved it someplace. Did I move it over here? Uh-oh, oh, there it is, okay. For a minute there, I really honestly thought, did I did I sell that thing and just expect to buy another one at some point or what? I'm gonna hit the garage. Ah, that looks better. There we go. Let's get out of here. This one I got to be a little more careful on because it doesn't have edges along the side of the bridge and I'm liable to do a little bit more damage. Uh, oh man. I forgot we got we got the big boy here, don't we? Not the, I don't think this is the largest wind rower in the game, but it's up there with the big ones. I have no idea how much horsepower this thing actually requires. I don't think it's that bad. Like I said, I think we're going to need to let our, I think we're going to need to let our, uh, tether get ahead of us a little bit further because this thing's going to catch up pretty quickly. I have a feeling, but we'll get her, we'll get it lined up and then we can go back to the shop. 
and continue our... Oh, sorry. 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 We should be over there. Continue our bale sausage. You gotta admit, this is kind of a nice way to do it, right? I mean... All things considered, if... You know how Superman feels now. That would be pretty amazing. I mean, think about that in real life. If you could be like Superman, what would be the number one thing? If you could have one of Superman's abilities, you only get one, what would you pick? I didn't actually mean to do that, but it'll probably work out. Whoops. Um, which one would you pick? Oh, come on, Brad. You're wrecking our sausage here. You're wrecking the sausage. Don't break the sausage. Most, I think a lot of people would pick flying. I think that that would be like definitely in the top, in the top percentage would be flying. I, I don't, I, I just don't know. I, I really don't. I I think flying would be way up there for me. You got to you got to consider flying for sure. Um just pure strength, having his strength. Because here's the thing, you got to remember you're only going to get one of them, right? So, uh, you'll be able to fly, but you're going to have your strength. Um <clears throat> You could have his strength, but you won't be able to fly. You could have his x-ray vision, so you could look into, you know, peep through walls and stuff. But past that, you know, that's it. You'll be able to look through walls. You won't be able to fend yourself off from people who want to beat the living tar out of you for looking at them through a wall. You could have his laser eyes. That might be kind of fun, but I think that's more of a, you know, party favorite. That gets old pretty quickly. Oh, here's Brad. Hey, is he showing you his laser eyes? Oh, yeah, they're pretty cool. Can he do anything else? Nope, he's just got laser eyes. Oh, great. That's fantastic. Good for him. What else can Superman do? So fly. He's probably got an amazing sense of smell, but I don't know what good that would do. And in fact... I can almost all but guarantee I would not want an amazing sense of smell for many reasons that are rather personal that we won't get into. Um, I like Mexican food, just as a side note. Uh, he's fast. He's very fast. He can run like the Dickens. That Oh, that did work. Wow, that shouldn't have worked, but it did work. I know I'm forgetting. I have a. I feel like I'm forgetting one of his powers that I. That are pretty cool, but I. I can't. Oh, he can blow. Um, he can blow ice, right? He can freeze. So I guess if you know you get home with a twelve pack of Pepsi, and it's warm, it's in the summertime, and you need it chilled, that'd be a pretty cool little skill to have. He is bulletproof. I guess... I guess if you were into, like, robbing banks, maybe? <clears throat> you wouldn't really have to worry too much about getting shot. You could just go into the bank, rob it, walk out while the police are unloading on you. It's It would almost be like uh, playing Grand Theft Auto with cheats on. If you've ever played, like, uh, Grand Theft Auto in God Mode. I feel like that's how it would be. So you're playing God mode and you're just walking around and the police are just pelting you. But eventually that would get old too, you know? I would think that would get old eventually. Do we want to go ahead, since we have this sausage going, we can go ahead and wrap our other bales if we wanted to. We've got eight more grass bales of the smaller size. I guess we can do that. 
Oh, I got that one in midair. Now we're just showing off, right? Maybe if it's not limited to Superman. Can we mix sizes here? I think we can mix sizes on the Anderson, can't we? It's not going to tell us, oh, you've already got one size going. Nope, it doesn't care. A friend of mine and I had a discussion one time, and this is going to sound ultra nerdy because it is. And it's a discussion I think that a lot of nerds have had <clears throat> where, you know, who would win between this person and this person, you know? And one of the ones that we could never agree on was Flash, the Flash versus Superman. And he would always say the Flash could win over Superman, could defeat Superman. And to me, that's just preposterous. Because here's the thing. Now, I'm not in super into Superman folklore, and I'm not, like, into canon. Like, oh, it's not canon. You can't say that because it's not canon. Well, my understanding is Superman... You know, he has, he has turned back... Oh, Brad, no, Brad, Brad, don't ruin the... Well, that, that, that's horrible. Where's it going? Oh, no. No, what happened? What if I grab onto it? It's like... Oh, no, 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 no. Where, where are you going? Just come back down. It's like one of those um, Gumby wavy things outside of a store, you know, for advertising. I'm going to, I got to take a, <laughs> I got to take a screenshot of that. Oh, I wrecked it. Can I grab it? I don't think I can grab it. Come back, come back. Boy, it did not like me grabbing onto. I'm really trying to catch it. It's not going to let me. Nope, it's not going to let me. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it, but now what do I do with it? It's like I, it's like a massive thing of balloons. So what do I do with it, though? Can I... It's not silage yet, so it can't go in the barn or anything. It's just going to float away. Well, all right then. I guess um, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Hinterland. I will... Um, I guess I'll... <laughs> oh, I guess I'll work on finishing up our... <laughs> our bales. <laughs> and keep working on our... Uh, keep working on our straw. What happened... Our field, our, our grass field. What happened to our Anderson... What happened to the Anderson roller, the, the the actual Anderson thing? Where did where did that go? Like I know the the bales are flying around. Is this what is this? Oh, there it is right there. I wonder if we reset the here, let's try something. Just for fun. Let's reset. I don't know how did it end up over here? Holy cow. All right, so the Anderson's back. But the bales are, they're not having it. Well, that's a shame. All right, everyone. Well, have a great rest of your Wednesday. I hope uh, it goes well. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves, of course. Take care of each other. Um, I don't think I can save the game. I think I'm going to have to, I think I'm going to have to reset the game and just deal with where we left off, so... Hey, you know what? It doesn't always go to plan, right? Are they still sitting over there? Oh, no, they're still... They're still flying around. All right, everyone, take care of yourselves. Um, shouldn't have talked about Superman. I knew I shouldn't have talked about Superman. All right, have a good, uh, have a good rest of your day. I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.